didn't have the camera to record the second course of sinew I put on this. Um, I decided to use 45 grams, put on all at once for just two applications um, to try to get a little less reflex to begin with. This one had three applications and um, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of reflex getting this thing strong for the first time. No progress now. I wrapped the handle in thick strips of sinew pretty thickly to support that splice. The tips these draw these bows are bent so much that the string angle can uh, reach the point where the string slips off the tip then of course the bow is going to break because it's going from full draw to full reflex so for the tips I use shorter bundles of sinew soaked in glue and then sculpted this is actually done and uh, it was also done on wood bows of the Sierra Nevadas by the Miwok. Next thing I want to do is open the bow up. This one's only been seasoning for three months and I'm not going to open it up yet. It's That's long enough to to start to bend it. But this one as you can see has got a little bit of twist in the tips and I'm going to need to correct that with uh, with dry heat over an electric burner and if I do that before this sinew is seasoned for for six months then I am risking having the sinew delaminate off the horn which is gonna set me back well if I start it now three months so this one's gonna sit on the rack for another three months but this is pretty pretty extreme recurve right here reflex recurve and that's all from just the sinew drawing of three layers. <clears throat> this one has been seasoning for six months and I've already opened it up a bit, trained it, started to bend it, started to take out the, the reflex, etc. I want to make sure and when you start working it, just for the film, I've got a, a towel here, but a nice firm carpet would be best. Just to start opening it up. With that one, with an extreme amount of reflex, I'm going to use a stick in between the tips to spread it out. It's a, it's what the Turkish boars, boars did. Um, and as you open it up, you'll be able to see where the twist is in those sticks and you can correct it then and there. But to train it, depending on who the owner of the bow is going to be. If they're experts at composites and they can handle stringing a bow with extreme reflex, I'll leave plenty of reflex in it, but I do want to train the bend. So I'm going to put it in form. Make sure no part of the the limb is bubbling up in a spot. If it is, I'm gonna need to clamp that down immediately, and I'll deal with that later in the tiller. But 
I was really careful making sure this is an even taper and perfectly even on each side and weighing the sinew to put the exact same amount on each limb so I shouldn't really be having any problems with this. have plenty of power. This bow is longer than most others I've made. It's actually a little longer than my form. I might have to go grab the jigsaw and cut another form for this one, but I can leave it strapped to this for a couple days or so. See if I can lose a little bit of the reflex. Kind of train it into bending the way I want it to bend before I use heat. <laughs> 